Hi boys and girls, I've got another story for you today. Now this one, I saw it in the school library and I just had to pick it up because it's all to do about what we've been doing in science with our beans. Can you guess what book I'm going to read today? Can you guess? We've been doing about beans and plants and growing in science. What could the storybook that I've chosen be? Did you guess? The book that I've chosen today is none other than Jack and the Beanstalk. Well, I'm sure that lots of you, maybe you do know this story already, but I'm going to read it again. So, Jack and the Beanstalk. Jack and his mum had a cow. Each day, Jack took a jug of the cow's milk to market. Moo, says the cow. One day there was no milk. Let's sell the cow, said Jack's mum. Then we can get some food. Jack and the cow set off to the market. They met an old man. Will you sell me your cow, he asked. I'll pay you five beans. All right, said Jack. What do you think, boys and girls? Do you think that seems fair? A whole cow? For five little beans? Hmm, something seems fishy if you ask me. When he got home, Jack's mum threw the beans away. Oh, Jack, she cried. What use are beans? The next day, one bean had grown into a huge beanstalk. Jack climbed up it. Oh my goodness, that is a huge one. At the top, he saw a giantess. You look hungry, she said. I'll bake you some bread. But then, fee, fi, fo, fum. Can I smell a boy? It's the giant. Quick, hide, said the giantess. The giant had lots of gold coins. He started to count them. The giant fell asleep. Jack crept out of the chest and grabbed three gold coins. Then he ran home. Oh dear. The next day, Jack climbed up the beanstalk again. You look hungry, said the giantess. I will cook a pie. But then, fee fi fo fum can I smell a boy? It's a giant, quick hide, said the giantess. The giant had a hen. She laid golden eggs. The giant fell asleep. Jack crept out of the pot and grabbed the hen and then he ran home. Oh, I hope he doesn't go back again. He might not be so lucky. The next day, Jack climbed up the beanstalk for a third time. You look hungry, said the giantess. I will make a cake. But then, fee, fi, fo, fum, can I smell a boy? It's a giant, quick hide, said the giantess. Can you see, where did he hide? The giant had a golden harp. He started to play it. Then he fell asleep. Jack crept out of the box and grabbed the harp. Oh my goodness. The giant woke up this time. Come back, he shouted. Jack ran down the beanstalk. The giant followed him. Oh no. But Jack's mum stood at the bottom with an axe and she chopped down the beanstalk. So that was the end of the beanstalk and Jack and his mum had all the food they needed. <laughs> the end. Wow, boys and girls, what did you think of this story? I think Jack was a bit of a cheeky monkey because he was taking things from the giant without asking him. But then the giant, he must have fell from the beanstalk or been trapped up in the clouds because Jack's mum cut down the beanstalk. Now have a look at these pictures here and you can maybe even pause the video and you can retell the story to mum and dad or your brothers and sisters. Maybe even you could act out the story again and you could be Jack and your brother or sister could be the giant or mum, okay? 
Well, I like. I hope that you like this story, boys and girls. I like this story because it's about magic beans, and we have been learning in science about how plants grow, and we've even planted our own beans. So I hope that your beans don't grow up in a big beanstalk like this, leading to a giant. I hope they will be just normal beans. Okay, boys and girls, bye-bye.